Hello! In this video, you will learn how to register for classes online using Pasco Hernando State College's Web Information System for Education, also known as WISE. It is important to note that you should use the Google Chrome browser on a laptop or desktop computer to get the best results when accessing WISE. First, go to phsc.edu and click on My PHSC at the top of the page. To access WISE, choose the hyperlink for WISE under First Time Student Users. Once you are on the WISE login page, enter your student ID number or your social security number in the top box that says ID number. Do not include hyphens or spaces. Enter your PIN in the box that is labeled PIN, then click the Log On button. Make sure you click the Log On button. Pressing Enter may return an error and will prevent you from signing in. If you submitted a paper application in person, you will have a default PIN. The default format is your two-digit day of birth and the last two digits of your year of birth. However, if you submitted your application online, you are asked to create a PIN during this process. You will use this PIN to log in. If you do not know your PIN or you need assistance with your PIN, please contact the Information Center for Assistance at 1-855-669-7475. Or information at phsc.edu. After clicking log on, you may have to read and acknowledge one or more notifications before you can view your home page. Proceed through these notifications by following the instructions on the screen. Once you're logged in, your home screen will look like this. You will use the navigation menu on the left to select register. On this page, you will select the term for which you are registering. Here is some helpful information you'll need to know when choosing your term. Courses listed as Fall Term 1, Spring Term 2, or Summer Term 3 run the entire length of the semester. Courses listed with A, B, C, or D are accelerated. Courses listed with A are completed in the first half of the term. Courses listed with B are completed in the second half of the term. Courses listed with C are completed in the middle of the term and courses listed with D are completed at the end of the term. Note that you will also see a term marked List All Sections. This will generate results for all terms within the semester, including the full-length courses and accelerated courses. For this reason, it is important to note the start and end dates of a course before adding it to your schedule. Select the term you wish to register for and click Continue. You may be asked to review and sign your terms and conditions for the semester. You can print the agreement for your records by clicking Print Agreement. To sign the agreement, type in your full name. This will serve as your digital signature. Then click Certify to proceed. Select your term once more and click Continue. You are now on the Schedule Builder. If you know the section number for your course, at the top of the page, enter the section number you want to add to your schedule. Then click Add to my Trial Schedule. The section number is the four-digit number that corresponds with a specific course at a specific time and campus location with a specific instructor. This is not to be confused with the course code, such as CGS 1100 or ENC 1101, which identifies a course in general. For example, CGS 1100 microcomputer applications will have several section numbers, such as 3527, 3609, 6401, and so on, corresponding with several microcomputer applications courses on each respective campus or online. If you do not know the section number of a particular course, or you want to view all of the sections that are available for a specific course, 
you may use the Courses filtered search below the Refresh Course box button. Select the course from the drop-down menu, and then click Find Sections. This search will return the results that meet the criteria you entered. You may also narrow your search on a specific class by selecting Class Type, Location, Discipline, Instructor Last Name, and When the Class Meets. Once you enter your filters, click the Refresh Course Box button. Your search results will appear in the Courses drop-down menu. Click on the course name, then Find Sections for the results. You may have to scroll down to view all of the courses. Remember to check the Site column listed on the search results. This is the location of where your class will meet or where the instructor is located if it is a remote learning course. The campus locations correspond to the following initials. Web is for online, internet-based courses. E is for the East Campus in Dade City. N is for the North Campus in Brooksville. W is for the West Campus in Newport Ritchie. SH is for the Spring Hill Campus. P is for the Porter Campus in Wesley Chapel. And finally, IP is for the Instructional Performing Arts Center, or IPAC, in Wesley Chapel. Please also remember to check the building number and room number columns. For on-campus courses, the building number corresponds with the specific building location on campus while the room number corresponds with the specific room location in that building. The room number also designates the floor at which you can find the classroom. For example, 100 room numbers would be on the first floor, 200 room numbers on the second floor, and so on. For remote learning Zoom-based courses, the building number will be listed as Zoom, designating that the course takes place via a web conference on the days and times listed. For online, web-based courses, there will be no building or room number associated with these sections, as the course takes place asynchronously via Canvas. Once you have chosen a course, select the course you want from the list and click Add. The course will then be added to your current trial schedule located on the right of the screen, as noted in the pop-up message here. If instead, when adding a course, you receive a different message, please review the message to determine what may be preventing you from adding the course. You may contact the Information Center should you need further assistance. Otherwise, if you have successfully added your course to your trial schedule, repeat this process for all of the courses you want to add. Check to make sure your trial schedule is correct. You can remove a course from your trial schedule by selecting it and clicking Remove. Your schedule will not be finalized until you click Finished Building Trial Schedule and Ready to Confirm. Do make sure you click this button to process your registration. Congratulations! You are now registered for your classes. Here is some more information you need to know. The next screen will display your schedule, balance due, and the due date for any tuition balance. You are responsible for ensuring all of your fees are paid by the deadline, regardless of financial aid status. If fees are not paid by the deadline, the courses you selected may be dropped from your schedule and may not be available if you want to re-register. Also, you should plan to enroll for any and all courses you want to attend for the entire semester. For example, B term classes don't start until later in the semester, but you will want to register for them as soon as possible, specifically prior to the end of the initial drop period to make sure you can reserve your seat and so that financial aid can be applied. And now that you know how to log into WISE, you can use this online portal to register for classes, review restrictions, view financial aid information, pay fees, view grades and unofficial transcripts, order official transcripts, 
and update your contact information. For further assistance with course selection and registration, you may meet with an academic advisor. You may do so online via Zoom or on any PHSC campus. Office hours and contact information may be found online on our advising page. Thank you for watching and welcome to PHSC.